today we're going to do a little chatty, cozy video, if that's okay with you. I will take that as a yes. I kind of just was in the mood to talk about my spinning wheels, my three little babies who I love with all my heart. I got into spinning in June 2021. In January of that f In January of that same year, I had a bike accident. So I was quite immobile, I couldn't go to work for about four months. And well, I was binging YouTube constantly. And YouTube recommended Kevin Boynitz to me. Kevin Boynitz is run by two great men who share a lot about their own knitting adventures, but also, and most importantly, natural dyeing tutorials. So yeah. You can quite honestly say I fell down that rabbit hole. I only had one little problem. I live in Belgium. I mean, nothing wrong with Belgium. Belgium is a fantastic country to live in. But the state of the fiber arts in this country is abominable. I could, for the life of me, not find undyed yarn in Belgium. I always had to pay international shipping. And I'm a sheepskate, so I wouldn't do that. But my local farmer just shorn his sheep. So I put two and two together. I could make my own on that yarn. But for that, of course, you need spinning equipment. But for that, of course, you need spinning equipment. So when you need spinning equipment, and you have got absolutely no idea what the flip you're doing, what do you do? You go to Facebook Marketplace, of course! <laughs> as a beginner, I do not recommend doing this, but do as I say, not as I do, because I got the Facebook Marketplace spinning wheel. The Facebook Place... Facebook Place... The Facebook Marketplace spinning wheel is this one. I didn't know it at the time, but I've learned by now that she is a Toika Irene wheel. It's a double drive single treadle wheel of Finnish made in Finland. Even though I was a complete newbie, the Toika Irene and I, we, we went along quite nicely. This was my first gain of yarn. I wouldn't be able to do this on purpose if I wanted to now, but uh, yeah, it's really thick and unruly. But I was spinning. This was so exciting. I don't think there was a day in the summer of 2021 where I didn't spin. So as you all have guessed right now, I was obsessed. I even at work listened to spinning wheel ASMR because I was so obsessed with it. <laughs> so naturally, it didn't stay with one spinning wheel. In January of this year, there was a woman in my neighborhood who was giving away a free Texelar fleece. I don't know if you could, but I could not say no to a free Texelar fleece. And she also had two unused spinning wheels in her basement. Yeah, and I had some cash. One of these two spinning wheels she had in her basement was this beautiful Wernekink Delft. And you might say, well Jente, yes, she is white, but despite from that, what's the difference with the wheel you already had? Need I say more? Of course I need. While my first wheel was a double drive wheel, this one is an Irish tension wheel. So of course that's totally different than I need a new spinning wheel. What are you saying? But now I run into a semantic problem. I always called her my wheel. But now this one was also my wheel. So how do we fix that? We give them names, of course. During the time I was immobile because of my bike accident, I binged a lot of YouTube. I know, I said it before, but I have a point in this one. I specifically binged a hecton of costuming YouTube. If you don't know what that is, that's a couple of YouTubers who specifically make historic costumes. And more specifically, I was binging Bernadette Banner and Rachel Maxey. Bernadette Banner is so immaculate in her work, she's always delicate and consistent. Just like a double drive wheel. And 
you can throw anything at Rachel Maxi and she will perfect it. And she has quite a lot of white blouses. Hmm. A bit like a white Wernicke Delft then. So yeah, here we have Bernadette and Rachel. But the story doesn't end there. And you would think, Jente, you now have two wheels. One that does immaculate, delicate work and one that does all the rest. You don't need another wheel now, do you? I always need new wheels. Again, I was perusing Facebook Marketplace, as one does, and my eye fell on a grainy, dark, really unclear picture. And it had been on Facebook Marketplace for half a year. But upon closer investigation of that picture, I was fairly certain I saw the Louet logo in there. And that was super interesting because Louet still makes spare parts for their wheels today. And yes, she was broken. But as I told you before, it's Louet, so what's the problem? There is no problem. I made an appointment to go and see her. Within two seconds I said, yeah, load her in the car. She had never been used before. She is a Louet S71, so an 80s wheel. Older than I am. Well, that probably counts for all my wheels. She is a brand spanking new spinning wheel. She had never been spun before. I was the first one that can spin on this Louet S71. What's her name, you might ask? Well, if you've seen my Tour de Vlies vlogs, you already know, of course. This little baby is Jillian. Why is she named Jillian? Because I needed quite a bit of spinning wheel knowledge to recognize this beauty from that grainy picture. And I also needed the slightest bit of spinning wheel knowledge to repair her. And where did I get my spinning wheel knowledge? Again, from YouTube, of course. But more specifically, from the Jillian Eve Fiber Arts channel. Didn't feel to me like an Evie, so I called her Jillian. Boink! Sorry, Rachel. Now that you've been properly introduced to my three babies, my three spinning wheels, I bid the farewell. I will see you in a next video. And if you have any question regarding my spinning wheels or my spinning journey, feel free to put them in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye!